Nothing can change your life like a beautiful, healthy smile. But not everyone who needs braces can afford them. Dr. Ron Wilson and the team at Wilson Orthodontics are proud to be a part of the Smile for a Lifetime Foundation, which awards free orthodontic treatment to deserving young people right here in our community. The deadline for the current round of applications is May 1st. Just go to wilsonbraces.com and click on the Smile for a Lifetime logo. Smile for a Lifetime, a proud public service from Wilson Orthodontics. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Highsmith. As of Friday morning, two men suspected in a shooting and armed robbery in a parking lot of the Hall County business are still at large. Authorities say the victim's car was found last night, however. The incident began around 1.30 yesterday afternoon when a man and woman went to Victory Foods on Industrial Drive, apparently as part of a check cashing business they run. The man was shot in the parking lot and was last reported in critical condition. Administrative Services Director Melody Marlowe spoke to the Gainesville City Council Thursday about the burden that has fallen upon the city to comply with new Georgia immigration laws. Ms. Marlowe said that so far 610 staff hours had been used by the city in an effort to comply with House Bill 87's mandatory reporting. The additional man hours and paperwork, according to Marlowe, will require the hiring of at least one additional staff member. To fund that new position, her office is recommending an increase in business license fees, averaging about $20 per business. Meanwhile, South Hall Commissioner Craig Lutz could not get enough votes Thursday night to support his motion on a city-county government merger initiative approved by voters 20 years ago. Lutz also called for a study on government unification with city and county officials' cooperation and approval. The vote was 3-2 to two against Lutz's motion. And Gwinnett Fire investigators have filed charges against a Buford woman who allegedly tried to set fire to her apartment. According to investigators, 39-year-old Darling D. Perez tried to set fire to furnishings in her apartment in the 2700 block of Mall of Georgia Boulevard Wednesday morning. Officers had responded to the estates in Mill Creek Apartments on a report of a domestic disturbance. According to the fire department, the fire burned itself out and caused only minor damage. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Highsmith.